Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable PHP extensions inside of cPanel. So for those of you that are adding different WordPress plugins or WordPress themes or any type of custom PHP application that asks for extensions, well, we've made this extremely easy. A lot of times, other web hosts will make you um, submit a ticket and you have to wait for the support department and they have to manually go install it. Well, not at Name Hero. These, we make these extensions available right inside of your control panel. So to do this, you just need to log in. So we're gonna click on log in at the top here of the main, our main website. I'm gonna log in with demo at namehero.com. Enter my password and click log in. Okay, once you're in the main client area, you wanna click on cloud web hosting, and then you wanna select your package. Um, for this website, I'm gonna use my HalloweenCostumeBlog.com demo site. I'll click the package, and then from there, I'm on the dashboard of the site. I wanna go into cPanel. So to log into cPanel, I'm gonna click right here, log into cPanel, okay, and then I'm here. So now I wanna search for PHP, so I'll just type in PHP here. And you can see select PHP version. So I'm going to click that. Okay, when I click that, I'm going to see whatever option is set. Now, if you haven't changed this before, if, you, if, if you're on native, it's going to look like this. If you, this is the first time you've ever went in here. So you want to select 5.6 off native. So select, select 5.6, and you're going to see this brings up all these extensions. So if your script, whatever your script requires, you can just start checking it right here. Um, so for example, if a lot of the default ones are already selected, but if you need to add one like PDF, you would just click the link beside here and add it. Um, and that's the same for Ion Cube Loader. Some, some people want the latest version of Ion Cube Loader. Some people want the Ion Cube Loader 4. So this is where you would go in and enable that type of stuff. Um, so it works your PHP script. Once you're finished, click Save and then it saves everything for you. It's that simple. Now, if you mess something up and you need to go back, you can click use defaults and that will bring up the defaults. Okay, so that's, that's um, if you get something, that it's, things quit working, just go back to defaults and you can't go wrong. Um, but that's really as quick and easy as it is, is just logging into cPanel, selecting your PHP version. And remember, if you're on the default, that's fine, but you have to change off the default to add the extension. So then you would just want to select 5.6, and then it'll bring up these extensions. Now, if you want to go further, you can go into PHP Options, and this is where you can add the error logs, or you can start to increase some of your limits, such as your upload limits and your memory limits and changing some stuff right there. So that's another good place to, um, to work on if you need to, um, some custom PHP options. But it's all right there inside of cPanel. We'll make it very quick and easy to add a PHP extension or to take away a PHP extension. If you have any questions on this, feel free to comment on this video or, or let us know. Our support team's here always to help you out too. If you need us to enable it for you, we can, and then we can walk you through the steps so you know. But if you um, need anything custom done too, just holler at us and we'd be more than happy to help you. But thanks a bunch for watching. We hope you enjoy our extremely fast web hosting and our excellent prices.